Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Reading the Red this Tuesday morning. It's got warmer, it's stopped raining, and Christmas is just down the road. We are speaking today of Matthew 15, and uh, Jesus is um, beginning a new inspiration to us. And um, in uh, verse um, 24, Jesus speaks the first words in red. But the story is built around, or his words are built around an encounter. And I, I, this is really a can of worms that Jesus is about to open. A woman from the Canaanite nation had come to him and had said to him, Jesus, my daughter is demon possessed. Now, can you do something? She calls him son of David. Can you do something? You're the king, son of David. You can do something. Will you do something? Now, the Canaanites were a nation that was historically always been at war with Israel. So these are enemies as communities. And this can of worms that Jesus is about to open is a kind of a shock to, us, to the system. It's a surprise to us. And uh, yet we need to know that these are, as it were, historic enemies. And in uh, verse 24, Jesus, having been pressed with the disciples, said this word, said, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So he says to the woman, you want me, a Canaanite woman, you want me to help you. Listen, woman, I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. Now, if you don't see the, the can of worms in that, then you're not seeing with your heart. Jesus is saying to this woman, my calling was to God's people, Israel. I've come to give a message to God's people, to show God's people the reality of God's salvation plan, the plan that had been promised way back, even before the beginning of time. God had come to save Israel. And he was making a distinction in these words when he said, woman, you don't understand. I was called to come to the, bring a message to the people of Israel. Now, if that doesn't get your blood boiling, then uh, you must be dead. Because I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Meaning, I wasn't called to come to you lot to come and do anything in your situation. And Jesus is building up this animosity, this sense of, if you're God, then here comes you're only going to come to Israel. Why, why don't you come to all the people of the earth? Why are you only coming to... And this woman's sense of what's going on. You're proclaiming a good news, but not, not for us, not for anyone else other than Israel. Is that what you're saying, Jesus? Can that really be what Jesus is saying, that he's only come to um, bring a message to God's historic people. Is that what's going on? And he's building this tension. He's building this reaction, consideration within this woman. And tomorrow, I'll let you know what she said. Have a great day.